three, two, one. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Let's reveal our marks. Okay, you go first. Okay. You got red. Ah, uh, phew. All right, my turn. Oh, shit. What? Just look at this mirror. <sighs> you got purple. I don't think this is a good idea. Shh, stay still. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look, who said being gifted is a bad thing? I mean, do we really need to change my mark? Yes, I heard rumors about what might happen to the gifted people, and it's really not good. This just in, all the purple marks will be taken in by the government for experimentation, as they could be a potential threat to normals and therefore need to be examined by professionals. Honey, let's go. We're late. Wh where are we going? Lizzie, it's time for the mark check. That's today? Yes, let's go. Let's see your mark. It's smeared. Uh, yeah, it just appeared like that. Mm-hmm. We have a code 52. What's a code 52? No questions. Come with me. Just as I thought. You should have done a better job with the makeup. Well, actually, my friend did it. Right. Blame it all on your friend. But she did. Don't get her angry. We don't know what she's capable of. Fine. Prepare the scanner. Scanner? Quiet. No talking, please. Turn your head to the side and stay still. Scanning. Level 10. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? She must be the one. It can't be. Quick, someone get her a room and get her labeled now. What is going on and why is there a 10 on my neck? It's the danger level of your powers. Powers? What do you mean by powers? Everyone with a purple mark has been gifted with powers. You have them too. I do? Mm-hmm. Now prepare her for testing. Welcome to the testing room. We will now determine what power you have. There's been a mistake. I don't have powers. Of course you do. They just haven't been activated. Well, how does that happen? We found that it happens during a time of distress. Okay, now that's on. Let's try mind reading. This is ridiculous. Just say what number you think I'm thinking of. I don't know, uh, two. Wrong. Ow! So sorry, but this is part of the process. Ten. No, wrong again. No, please. I'm telling you guys, I don't have mind reading. Look, it's been half an hour. Probably should give her a break. No, we have to keep going. No, she needs to rest. Would both of you just be quiet? Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it. I'm calling Daddy. Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait. What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look, the prince. Let's go talk to him. Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not. Just stay here. I swear, she is so annoying. Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more Quite thing about the deal. <laughs> you have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. 
Good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? Ah! <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? Ah! <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? I like your shirt. Thank you. It's pink, my favorite color. It is? I wouldn't know. I can't see color. Why not? Mommy, why can't I see the color pink? Honey, it's time we have a talk. You'll only be able to see color when you meet your soulmate. So that means it will be a really, really long time until I can see the color pink? Hey, Brianna, what color is this pen? I don't know. <laughs> she can't see color until she meets her soulmate. Hey, babe, don't let them get to you. Hey, babe, are you still fine being with me, even though you're not my soulmate? Come on, you know I don't care about that. Let's go to the movies after school. Yo, bro. Hey, Jason. Brianna, you have to meet my buddy, Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Gummy, gummy. Who was the girl that left the house this morning? How do you know her? Come on, she was just a friend. It's not like that. What's my name? Come on, baby. Don't do this. If you didn't cheat, then tell me my name. Mommy, why doesn't Daddy know your name? Because, sweetie, Daddy cheated on me. When you cheat on someone, you forget the name of the person you cheated on. Hey, baby. Brianna, don't worry. I could never forget your name. I know. I'm just paranoid because my dad cheated on my mom back when I was seven. I love you. I would never cheat on you. Jason's having a party after school. Want to come? Sure. Hey, you made it. Here, have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Blake, you're so funny and so cute. Well, you know, I... Blake? Uh, uh, bu bu baby, hi. Why don't you know my name? Morning, Daddy. I made you lunch, just how you like it, PB&J. Thank you. Honey, do you need a lunch? No, I got one. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Dad. It's my first day of high school. I'm so nervous. How about a homemade PB&J sandwich? Will that help? Of course it will help. Morning, Dad. You know what I'm really craving for lunch today? How about a PB&J? How did you know? Must have been a good guess. Dad? Dad? I'm off to college. I could really use one of your PB&Js. Honey, it's time to go. Are you ready? Where's Dad? He makes me PB&Js every single morning. Dad, are you feeling okay? Yeah, why? Your father's been dead for over 10 years. <sighs>
vandag gaan een goede dag wees. Wacht, hoe kom praat ek hier die vreemde taal? Mama? Mama, asjeblief help. Ek praat hier die vreemde taal en ek weet nie hoekom nie. Honey, that's your soulmate's language. My seelsgenootse taal? Yes, and you'll only be able to speak English again once you meet him. Wonderlijk. Ek is geskroef. Hey Giselle. Goeiemorgen Jessica. Why are you speaking Afrikaans? Dis nie my skuld nie, my seelsgenoot praat hierdie taal. Girl, you're gonna struggle to find him. Ja, dis wat ek ook gedink het. Kom, ons moet klaas toe. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number 7? Um, ja, ek het gekry 69. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number 7? Um, ja, ek het gekry 69. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Girl, did you see the new guy? Isn't he so cute? Yo, I get. And weet jy van waar of is hy? Yeah, he's from South Africa. And wat praat hulle in South Africa? They speak Afrikaans. Wait, that means he's your... Yep, and ons het a winner. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jy het uiteindelik toe en toe by mekaar gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ek gaan nie met hom praat nie, ek is te sien of jy achtig. You're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, um, I'm Michael. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jy het uiteindelik toe en toe by mekaar gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ek gaan nie met hom praat nie, ek is te sien of jy achtig. Well, you're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, I'm Michael. And you are? Oh, you can't speak? No, she can... No, apparently she can't. Girl, I can't believe you just did that. What anders moes ek doen? Ek is te bang om met hom te praat. Well, if you don't talk to him, you're never gonna be able to speak English again. Ja, ek weet. If you don't go talk to him today, I'm gonna tell him you were lying. Alright, alright. Ek sal met hom praat. Good choice. Hello? Um, jy het gesê jou naam is Michael? Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans? That means you're my... Hello? Um, jy het gesê jou naam is Michael? Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans. That must mean you're my... Jou seelsgenoot? Exactly, but why are you still speaking Afrikaans and I'm still speaking English? Nou dat jy dit noem, ja, dit is nog als vreemd. Ek wonder hoekom praat ek nog steeds Afrikaans, en jy nog steeds Engels. I don't know, but it's really weird. Ek gaan gaan probeer uitvind. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Ja, girl, what's up? Ok, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wie anders is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans is nie. Did you know that Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Yeah, girl, what's up? Ok, so, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wel, as dit nie hy is nie, wie is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans praat nie. Well, did you know Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Denk jy, dis talk hy? There's one way you could find out. Ok, waar kan ek om kry? I think he's in the cafeteria. Ok, ek gaan met hom gaan praat. Giselle, there you are. I've been looking for you. Michael, hello. Um, ek soek eindelijk jou boete. Ek moet met hom praat. Why do you want to speak with my brother? Ek wil jou nie seer maak nie. Maar ek denk jou boete is dalk my seels genoot. That's impossible. It's me. Hey, I'm Jake. I'm Michael's brother. Hi, I'm Giselle. Happy birthday! Wow! A gummy bear! Thank you! There's one more gift for you. Who's it from? There was no name. It's blank. Happy birthday! Thank you! Now there's one more gift. Another card. Does it say who it's from? It doesn't say anything. It's another blank card. 
Happy Sweet Sixteen. Thank you. Let me guess. Another blank card? Yes. It's the same one as always. Who would do that? Every single year. Happy birthday. Oh, you got a card? Who's it from? I don't know. Every year on my birthday since I was 10, I've received a blank card in the mail. That's kind of creepy. Wait a minute. White ink. There's something written in this card. White ink. These cards aren't blank. There's something written in them. My papa reads encrypted messages for a living. We can take the cards to him and find out what they say. What do you have for me? This is the first card I received when I was 10. Ah, uh, yes. Find me where the flowers grow. I'm in the garden down below. That doesn't make sense. What is it, some kind of riddle? Maybe we'll understand if we read all the cards. This is the second card. X, Y, Z, X, B. That is the key to set me free. Do you have a pencil? Here. What are you doing? I'm writing it down. It must be some kind of code. This is the third card. The place I am you have in your memory. We used to play there before you were stolen from me. Wait a minute. I know the place. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Aren't you going to school? I'm trying. What in the world? Hmm. Play. Here's the exam. It should take you about three hours to complete it. No, if only I could fast forward it. Oh, wait. I can. <laughs> Done my exam. That's impossible. That only took you 1.2 seconds. Yeah, I'm just super smart. Hmm, let's try the up button. Oh, oh, oh. I can fly. Wow, that is so crazy. There's just one more I haven't tried. Pause. Pause. Help. Help. I'm paused, I can't move. You seem fine, you're still talking. Yeah, but my body can't move. Whoa, why did controls just appear above your head? Oh, you can see them? Okay, press play for me. And why should I? Please. I don't know if a please is good enough. Pretty please? All right, play. <gasps> Brianna, hurry, you're gonna miss the bus. Oh, don't worry, I'll just run home. Run home? Your house is a two hour walk from here. It's okay. I'll just fast forward myself. Hi, Mom. I'm home. That was quick. School just ended. I know. I ran really fast. Good morning, Mom. I'm off to school. What the? I'm ready for school. What's this? I'm ready for school. <gasps> what just happened? What about this one? <gasps> when did I get here? Chill. We've been here an hour. An hour? I never even left my house! You're acting strange. And that is why the war started. Dude, did she just... Bro, no way, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> you have zero manners. No, no, it was the chair. It was the chair. I promise you it was the chair. No way, that wasn't a chair. We all heard it. Get me out of here! And that is why... Miss, I need to use the bathroom. Hey. <gasps> Babe! I'm here to break up with you. Also, I've been cheating on you throughout the entire relationship. I'm really sorry, but I'm not actually. Oh, you are not getting away with this. Hey. Babe! I'm, I'm breaking up with you, and I've been cheating on you throughout this entire relationship. How could you do that? How could you cheat on me? Oh, just like how you cheated on me this whole relationship? I, uh, how did you know this? I'm an intellectual. Steve, you will never believe what I can do. I can go back and forth in time. Have you lost your mind? No, I'll show you. I want to take my best friend forward in time. Bessie, did it work? Did what work? Then. Steve, look, I don't want to explain this whole thing again, but I can go back and forth into time. Have you lost uh, your... Uh, uh. Hold my hand. I want to try something. Huh, how did I get here? Shh. We're in class. You really can time travel. I told you. Hey, I need you to help me with something. I need you to help me with something. What, do you need to rewrite a test or something? No, it's way more serious than that. I'll tell you after class. Okay. 10 years ago, my family was in a car accident driving my sister to school. I was homesick that day. None of them survived. I need to go back and warn them not to get in that car. 
I don't know. Changing the past that drastically has got to have some kind of consequences. No, you don't understand. The last thing I said to them was I hate them and I wish they were never my family. I can't live with this guilt. I have to fix this. Okay. I'll help you. Thank you. Take my hand. What is taking her so long? It worked. I convinced them all to stay home today. That's great. Let's go back. Wait, I forgot my phone. What's going on? Wait, come back. No, I left her in the past. <gasps> Pesky, there you are. I was so worried. Who are you? I'm finally 18. What gift do I get? A mystery box? Oof. Well, might as well open it. No, don't. Why? I heard a story of one person who had a mystery box and they stopped breathing right as they opened it. I should wait to open it then. Good idea. It could be very dangerous. What did you get for your gift? I got this mystery box. Open it. I heard of someone who got a mystery box and got a million dollars. Don't open it. I heard someone got gifted a mystery box and lost a finger. Open it. Don't. Open it. No. I'm scared. I'm not gonna open it. Hey, I want to trade my gift with you for that mystery box. What's your gift? A mansion. It's way better than a box. So give me the box. Trade it now. No, we can't trade gifts. It's illegal. I have to know what's in this box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's empty. Have you opened your box yet? No, I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what's inside. Open it. I need that box. Give it. Just open it. I'll give you my mansion. Back. Stay back, you fiends. Open it. No, I don't think there's any need to open it. All right, class, it's time for the test. We'll be starting right now. Oh, shoot, I forgot my pen. Oh, my God. What is this box? <gasps> you lied to me. You did open the box. Shh, my crush is coming. Oh. Hey, box, I could really use some perfume. Oh gosh. Perfect. This box could be very beneficial to me. To us. No. Hey, Box, I could really use a million dollars right now. Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning. You look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you- They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But- Hush, follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not six. Now hand that thing over. No. What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go. <gasps> no. Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger. Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Want to do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Psst, kid, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm...
Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's sugar daddy girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. That's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. <laughs> Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I... No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean... What are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina. As more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I... Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came. Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with your doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? 145k to cover the surgery. Rena, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But Mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No, this wasn't a part of our deal. Hey, you're coming with me. Wait here, I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. Oh, I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it, though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> Yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh, thank goodness it's only one. I don't want to have any competition. A thousand? How does he even know a thousand people? A hundred thousand? This can't be right. What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's just that a hundred thousand people are simping over my soulmate. Whoa, a hundred thousand? Mine is none. Oh. Well, you're lucky. One million? Oh, wow. He must be famous. I know. I gotta find him before those girls do. He's my soulmate. I have to be the one he chooses. Okay, so what are we thinking? Is he, like, worldwide famous or social media famous? Hmm. Two million? He's getting more famous and more simps by the minute. I should give up. I'm never going to find him, and if I do, how am I going to compete with two million girls? You can't give up. That's your soulmate. I'm so sorry. Watch where you're going, nerd. E excuse me, nerd? Who do you think you are? How about you watch your manners next time? I'll do as I please. 
OMG, I can't believe you talked him that way. Do you know who he is? No, and I don't think I want to. He's kind of a jerk. He's low-key social media famous. He has over 2 million followers on TikTok. What? Bestie, I think I found my soulmate. <laughs> That's great. Why are you upset? Because he's an entitled TikTok influencer. Come on, give him a chance. Ask him out on a date. You might change your mind. I need to know if he's truly my soulmate or not. Hey. Hey, nerd. So, I think you might be my soulmate. Let me explain. My soulmate has over 2 million people crushing on them, and you have over 2 million followers on TikTok. So I just need to go on a date with you to test if this theory is true or not. So you like me? No, I never said that. I said that you might be my soulmate. Makes sense. My soulmate has zero crushes. Then it must not be me, because I would have way more than that. I don't think so. Do you want to go on a date or not? Sure, I'll pick you up at 11. Alright. Sounds good. See you then. Oh, that must be him. Hey. Wow, you look beautiful. I, I do? Yeah, I mean, for a nerd. We had a moment there, and you ruined it. Let's go. This is a really nice place you brought me. Isn't it? It's one of my favorites. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... Your crushes keep going up. Do you feel insecure? Yeah, I mean, a little. Three million girls is a lot of competition. Yeah, three million girls is a lot, but you're the only one on a date with me. And you're the only one that I see. Did you also just... <laughs> yeah, I did. The date was amazing. OMG, I saw you on TikTok. You're so cute. <laughs> did you just bark at me? She's a psycho. Are you serious? How do you have four million crushes? Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Uh, sure. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you mad? I thought we talked about this already. Sorry, I guess I just wanted you all to myself. Such a beautiful day out today. Isn't it? Hey, cutie, are you by chance single? No, he's not actually. He has a girlfriend. And it's me. Oh, really? Yes! Stop acting like this. You're acting crazy. I can't do this anymore. Why do you have so many crushes all of a sudden? I do? Really? How many? 200. 200? Nice. How was that nice? Says the guy with over 4 million simps. How did you do it? I, uh, I started TikTok. Let me see. No, no, don't. Seriously? You're posting thirst traps? 2,000 crushes, really? I have 2,000 crushes already? I can't believe I ever even liked you. How can you even be upset? You have way more crushes than I do. Yeah, but I didn't purposely get people to crush on me just to spite you. Look, I'm sorry. I was just jealous, and I thought if I had lots of crushes too, we could be equal. Save it, alright? I'm leaving. Have fun with your simps. Yeah, and you have fun with yours. Stop posting thirst traps on TikTok. Very bold of you to say. Oh, would you look at that? Four million one hundred thousand. Four million two hundred thousand. Wow, your crushes are going very fast. Cut it out already. Who are you to tell me what to do? We broke up, right? This is getting out of hand. Just stop posting. I'll stop posting when you stop. Hey. Look. I don't want your critique any longer. I'm here to say I'm sorry. I get it. I understand how you're feeling. It's hard to see people fall for the person you like. It's my fault too. I was being insecure. You know what I think of this whole crush soulmate thing? You covered my crushes. Yeah, let's not look at them anymore. They don't define our relationship. You're right. I like it better this way. Jimmy, let's play freeze dance. Okay. And what, and what, and what, freeze. And what. Wait, am I supposed to freeze now? Unfreeze. No, Brianna, you killed Timmy. You're not supposed to play freeze dance. It's for population control. It kills people. I didn't know. Hey, Kevin, I made you muffins. Thanks, Brianna. Hey, stay away from Kevin. He's mine. Well, I don't see your name on him. Let's play free stance and settle this once and for all. Whoever wins gets Kevin. Deal. I didn't agree to this. 
Freeze. Oh no, Brianna, were you playing freeze dance? Because of you, Brittany and Kevin are dead. She killed Brittany and Kevin? She's sick. No, no, it's not like that, I promise. Hey, leave her alone. Brianna, come with me. Hey, thanks for getting me out of there. I really appreciate it. It was nothing. Do you remember Timmy? Timmy? Freeze. Wait, am I supposed to freeze now? Yeah, I do remember him. He died playing freeze dance back when I was six. He was my brother. It's time that I finally avenge his death. I challenge you to a game of freeze dance. Uh-oh, the poisonous gas is being released. Hurry, hold your breath. All right, everyone, here's your gas mask. It will stop you from breathing in the poisonous gas being released. Uh, excuse me, I didn't get one. There's not enough gas masks for everyone. The families with the highest incomes are given it first. But that's not fair. The rest of us are going to die. We can't keep holding our breath forever. You'll have to try. Oh, no. It's not fair. They get masks and we don't. It's like they're trying to get rid of us. I know. And the times we're getting to hold our breath are getting longer and longer. Come on, pick up the pace. Keep running. I can't. I'm out of breath. What? have gas masks are dead not everyone brianna's still alive that's impossible how can she hold her breath for 10 minutes and still be alive omg you're alive no way how did you survive you didn't have a gas mask i don't know i couldn't hold my breath any longer so i just breathed in the gas so did i We breathed in the gas. How are we surviving? I think the people that died didn't die from the gas. They died from holding their breath. Look at your hands. Look at your hands. Oh no. I must have had some kind of reaction to the poisonous gas. Your face. It's turning green. <coughs> I don't feel so good. <gasps> it's not supposed to be time yet. Hold your breath as long as you can. <coughs> possible to hold our breath that long. I know. <coughs> Look at you. You're getting worse. Me? What about you? Look at your arm. I got the oxygen can 3000. It's way better than those silly gas masks. Hey, Rich Boy. Give me that oxygen tank. Here, I got you this oxygen tank. You need to use it right away. You're not breathing well at all. It's too late. You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn... Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but, she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Oh, I mean, yes, but no! No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's sugar baby girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please. Call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir? Steven. 
Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college, and we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night. Ugh. But I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only $20 in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here, and hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit, you uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry, you're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. <sighs> 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi, I need help, I... Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go, why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Bria. Elizabeth? How did you- Shh. Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here. Uh, eat peppers for you, creep. Oh, my eyes. Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again. I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 colored, colored pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? 
Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco, giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I just a baby. Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still had to say okay, mom. I just a baby. I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. <laughs> really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencils' power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great... Oh, no, no, no. Buzz cut is not move. I'm off to school. What? No, I'm not choosing either. Choose. Okay, I have to pick. Oh, Mama, I'm in love with the criminal. The choices I get are so crazy. I have to choose if he writes his test or skips. Yeah, those choices are very crazy. What? Are you insane? I'm not choosing. What's wrong? Choose. It's not even a choice. Choose. No. What's going on? Oh, please don't make me choose. Choose. Hey, sorry I'm late. Why hasn't class started yet? The teacher's on some kind of super serious phone call. Thanks for letting me know. I'll make sure everyone's safe. Goodbye. Class, there's been multiple zombie sightings. No one is going home tonight. That's impossible. What? No way. I want to go home. Don't you dare come here. How can you read at a time like this? I'm just trying to clear my head, that's all. The zombies are approaching the building. Stay calm, everyone. 
How can I be calm at a time like this? Just stay away from us. Oh no. The zombies. They're coming in the building. Get me out of here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? The zombies are in the building. Don't panic. I'm panicking. You better hurry up. Look out the window. Some random guy is coming to the building. The bat has to be the better move. Whoa, how did you fight off all those zombies? You're so cool. Oh, you are not flirting with my best. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. How can we repay you? How can you repay him? He caused it! Wait, how do you? Come, you and I need to talk. How do you know that I was the one who caused this? You know the random choices we get to make for our soulmate? So you chose the apocalypse? I didn't get to choose! It said either it's an apocalypse or an apocalypse. And then when I tried not to pick, it got mad at me. That is so ridiculous. Are you really thinking of kissing me right now? What? So spill it. How did you start the apocalypse? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just I'm nervous, that's all. Don't worry. We're in this together, no matter what. Kelly, please come to the stage to receive your number. That's you. Here I go. Uncover your number, please. Ten. Yes, that's my bestie. Brianna, please come to the stage to receive your number. Please uncover your number. Zero. She's useless. What a loser. Get out of here. Wow, they're pretty brutal out there, aren't they, Kelly? Kelly. Just go. I can't talk to you. Leave before someone sees us. Welcome. Our class will now be divided based on our numbers. Please sit with your fellow numbers. Hello, my fellow zeros. How does it feel to be the bottom of the food chain? I don't belong here. You don't belong here? What, you think you're better than us? Yeah, I do, actually. And what makes you say that? Well, I'm an athlete, head cheerleader, lead of the school musical, and I'm popular. You're so popular? Go say hi to your number 10 friends over there. I will. Hey, guys! Shut up, Zero. Come with me. I want to show you something. Okay. Here's a wall of all the fellow Zeros that went to our school. Take a close look. Why are they all so young? All of the other numbers, it shows them through all their stages of life. 99% of Zeros don't make it past 25. They can only handle being outcasted and having no future or purpose for so long. You mean they... Precisely. Mom, I'm home. I had the worst day. Get out of my house immediately. Here's your lunch. Thank you. What is this? Hurry now, you don't want to be late for school. Mom, you've kissed that many people? Excuse me? Gross. Hey, Bestie. Hey. No way. You haven't had your first kiss yet? What are you talking about? I've definitely had my first kiss. Come on, it's me. You can tell me the truth. I am telling the truth. I've kissed like six guys. Okay. I believe you. I'm telling the truth. Hey, baby. Babe. Fifteen? Ooh. Well, as long as they were before he met me, I guess. Good morning, baby. I got you flowers. You're so sweet. Thank you. Anything for you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'll see you later, okay? Love you. Bestie, I really need to talk to you about something. You see, my boyfriend... No way. Bestie, you've had your first kiss? I already told you. I had my first kiss a long time ago. I've kissed tons of guys. Why do you keep lying to me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Isn't it? Hey, do you know where Brianna is? She's been avoiding me all day. No clue. Bestie, could you be honest with me for once? Did you kiss my boyfriend? Because I saw that your kiss count went up and his kiss count went up. First of all, how do you know our kiss counts? And no, I didn't kiss your boyfriend. I don't even like men. That's why I've been lying, saying I've kissed a bunch of guys. I was nervous about coming out, and I didn't want to tell you this way. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to know who my boyfriend cheated on me with. Could I buy one bottle of air, please? That'll be $500. $500? Are you serious? It went up again? Yeah, air's in high demand right now. It's just business. <coughs> okay, here. Here's your air. 
Oh no, honey, we're almost out of air. Can you go buy us a 12 pack case of bottled air? A case of air? That's really expensive now. Are you sure we can afford it? We'll have to try. Here, take my credit card. Okay. Hi, can I just get a 12 pack of bottled air, please? That'll be $5,000. 5,000? It went up again? Air's hard to get nowadays. Okay. It's declined. Please just give me some bottles. My family has no air left. I run a business. If you can't afford it, get lost. What's that over there? Over where? Hey, get back here. Mom, I'm back. Why did you only get five bottles of air? I asked you to buy a case. I know, but your card was declined. So I stole it. You stole them? What if the police catch you? What was I supposed to do? We we're out of air. I had no choice. Just drink your air. Don't worry about it. I need to get more air for my family. I'm only going to ask nicely once. Put all the air you have into this bag right now. No, I'm calling the police. I didn't want to have to do this. What is that? Ah, my eyes! Yeah, Mom, I grabbed as many bottles as I could. <coughs> Mommy, can I have a bottle of air? It's hard to breathe. I'm sorry, honey, but I don't have any bottles left. It's too expensive now. Just close your eyes and rest. I'm scared. Here, I got lots of bottles. You can have some of mine. So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl, any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on, let's get to class. Oh, look, it's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm gonna get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please. I can explain. Giselle? Olivia? Come with me. Giselle? Olivia? Come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. 
So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay, at least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm going to pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but you know what? What am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy's sick. The vet says she needs surgery. Mm. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. Mm. You know what? I think I got it covered. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good. Babe, I... Whoa. Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up. I need his money. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean. And you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is so dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that, there's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you. I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm gonna go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said, no, stay. I think you're going to want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10 k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue, you're a dirty, rotten cheater, I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait. Ladies, I'll buy you anything. No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're going to tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're going to tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because. After I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. 
Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be $6.99 back on the card. Please help me.